Hello everybody, Stalino49 here, and today we're going to be talking about the gun manufacturers in Borderlands 2. Without further ado, I'm just going to kick things off. The first new gun manufacturer is the Bandit Manufacturer. Now these guys have started putting together their own guns, and they're really kind of ramshackle, homemade, kind of crappy kind of things. They have a really distinct style, and they're going to feature bottles for scopes and screws for iron sights. But, their upside is that they're gonna have the biggest magazine size out of any guns in Pandora, so... That's gonna be your ideal spray and pray, you know, spray and pray weapon. The next one we're gonna look at is Doll. Doll, this one's kinda boring. Or, I guess not boring, but that's whatever you prefer. These are kinda be, gonna be like your average modern military shooter guns. They describe it as guns you would see in like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something. So it's just going to be modern military guns. The next one, which I'm sure you know this one, is Hyperion. Now in Borderlands 1 they were featured for their high accuracy, which I'm sure is going to be returning in Borderlands 2. But this time they're going to have a heavy influence on the artistic style of the guns. They're going to feature Claptrap's yellow and white design, and Claptrap's eye is going to be like a scope, so it's going to be really obvious when you pick one of those up. Next one is the, next one's Vlada. What they're, they were trying to make it so it has a really Russian vibe to it. It's gonna have the fastest fire of any of Pandora's weapons as they were in Borderlands 1. Also, to give it more of that Russian vibe, they're gonna have mini, ba mini gun barrels as attachments on every gun, so that'll be really cool. Alright, next one is Tedior, which I'm sure you've heard so much about, but I'm just gonna do a quick run through of it. Cheap guns, kind of Walmart made, like common man use them, any guy can just go out of his house and buy one. But the specialty with them is obviously they have a super fast reload. I'm not sure if this is all the guns, or some of them, but some of the guns, which I'm sure you've seen in the videos, you can actually throw, the after you're done shooting, you can throw the gun at the enemy, and the more ammo it has in the mag when you throw it, the bigger the explosion is, and it'll rematerialize in your hand, so that's a pretty distinct one. Now the next one we're going to be talking about is Torque. Torque, I don't really know how to explain this one, so I'm just going to read it off from the article I'm reading. Torque. Borderlands is an explosive, over-the-top gaming experience. If the game was boiled down and turned into a gun, it would be surely, it would surely be Torque made. This far from modest manufacturer specializes in the most destructive, insane weapons in Pandora. Torque is about creating the biggest and loudest display of power possible. I think that description kind of summed it up really well. I don't really know what to expect from that, so I'm excited to I'm excited to pick one of those up and try it. Now the next one is one of my favorite manufacturers from the original Borderlands, Maloan. Just as Theodore and Vladov did, it had it had a developer um, manufacturer commercial type video on YouTube, and I'll link that as well. They're kind of futuristic, high class guns, and as you know, uh, in Borderlands One. Their specialty was that they were always elemental. The Hellfire was elemental. I mean, the Hellfire was Malawan. The Defiler was Malawan. All their guns are elemental, so those are gonna be really cool. And I'm excited to see what they do with the guns in um, in Borderlands 2. Now, the final one is Jacobs, uh, the infamous, infamous Jacobs. These are gonna resemble. Uh, they explain it as a cross between old western guns and guns from World War II. And as you know from their from their catchphrase in Borderlands 1, these guns are known for their extremely high damage. And that's all the that's all the gun manufacturers in Borderlands 2. And you may be wondering, "Hey Stallion, where's Atlas?" Well, actually, uh, confirmed by this article, Alice's presence on Pandora is now completely gone after the events of Borderlands 1, so don't expect to be picking up an Atlas gun anytime soon in Borderlands 2. They don't say anything about Iridian, but I expect Iridian weapons to be back in the game, and hopefully they have a buff from Borderlands 1, because Borderlands 1 Iridian guns, they were cool at first, but overall they weren't that effective. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end this commentary right here. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, consider liking and subscribing. And as always, this has been Stallion049, and thanks for watching.